below. Steve here. Welcome to Real Health. Who would have thought health is about what we're eating? Join me on my quest to disseminate my go-to health regimen, the Health 44, my clumsy branding of eliminating four classes of food, introducing four classes of micronutrients, bingo, bongo, health sorted. So thank you for your interest. Let's do this. You've clicked on the whole world is celiac, where we don't need the approval, the diagnosis of, of a mainstream healthcare practitioner. Right, this is the way that the whole world is celiac. Well, to, fl to further clarify, I've only just realized that celiac has two different spellings, the US spelling and the and the British spelling. And the British spelling is what I used here, being a subject of a, a colonial, a subject of the British Isles here in Australia. So to further clarify why we are all celiac, but not, not all, we are, I'll give a figure of 98%. 98% of the world is celiac. And this is the reason why. Basically, we're not made. We could be made to process the proteins that come in glutens, not just wheat, barley, and rye, but it has to also include oats. And I think also now buckwheat is part of that complex. I've also gone to the point of basically eliminating grains from my diet to see how I go. Uh, before approaching about a year now, um, I did have rice, corn, quinoa, that sort of thing. Not much of the diet, but enough. Enough to register uh, carbs and the like. So the reason why 98% of us is celiac is that 98% of us can't process the proteins in the glutens, mainly due to um, our stomach acid not being under 1.0. It's normal, the mainstream suggests that it's normal to have a um, gastric juice pH of 1.5 to 3.5. Um, I would suggest go under 2. For, for your own health sake, go under 2.0. If you are in a position where you can measure your stomach pH, the most reliable way is litmus, uh, litmus paper test, nasogastric gastric tube, down your nose, aspirate a bit on the paper, have a look. Then you're also susceptible to, if, if it's line ball, uh, if you're under 1.0, uh, that way, you're most likely to uh, digest the proteins in the the glutens, which are a pro protein. But for us, the um, the gluten proteins are a pro 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 inflammatory cytokine, which act like a type of contact enteritis. Not the same thing, but they act um, they injure ourselves in those two manners. It's more, most likely um, the pro-inflammatory cytokine where year after year since we're born, decade after decade, and then we get to the age of 50 where pretty much we start getting the symptoms of being celiac. And the symptoms of celiac is starting to age quicker and quicker once you get into your 50s. The, the sarcopenia, the chronic diseases start coming on board uh, more um, uh, obesity, uh, chronic, uh, the whole metabolic syndrome complex, uh, chronic diseases, autoimmune diseases, and celiac is considered a audio, uh, autoimmune disease. Your body, is, your body is attacking itself. It's not attacking itself. You're just not able to process the glutens because your gastric juices aren't under 1.0. We could probably start splitting hairs of uh, 1.15 or something but um yeah get it into under the the first integer so our gastric juice must be very acidic way more acidic than 
battery acid. And because our gastric juices must be very, very acidic, the whole idea of gut health and gut, uh, gut flora, um, good gut bugs and all uh, microbiome, that's what I was searching for. Um, I don't know. Uh, my internal jury on that whole idea has not deliberated. There's a few jurors that are flipping to the nothing should be alive in your gut. It should be all, anything that enters your gut should be frazzled, should be um, annihilated to a pulp. We need to digest our food. And the best way to digest our food is to have our gastric juice in that very low, very high acidic range, very acidic. So increased salt intake is the easiest way. People use apple cider vinegar. Um, increase your hydrochloric acid type um, arrangement. But uh, yeah, just easier with the salt. Even by deploying those different strategies, a lot of people won't be able to get to 1.0. So the most reliable way to not suffer the consequences of being uh, of having that contact enteritis, that uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines that um, injure the small um, the small intestine, the villi in your small intestine that does most of our absorption, is to just go off gluten, wheat, barley, rye, oats, buckwheat, nothing of that. And um, the recent keto and carnivore crowds suggest no grains at all. I'm giving it a go. I haven't missed my rice and maybe 10, 10% corn in that. Uh, I was feeling okay before with those few grains that I, I was having, but um, I haven't missed it. And I'm doing okay. I'm doing very well, in fact. So that is why the whole world is celiac. We can't process it. Very few can, perhaps that 2% can. Even worse is if you drink during your meals. Um, I've got this whole protocol of uh, no drinking 30 minutes prior to your meal, 90 minutes post after your meal. And uh, if your mouth is dry, you need a bit of a, an ounce is fine. Um, having uh, a few ounces 10 minutes before your meal is a bit of a pass. Um, an ounce during your meal to help help it all go down. Usually people uh, uh, relate digestion as getting your food to go down. Mm. No, no, it's not making it easier for your food to go down. Uh, we need to digest it. And uh, it's best, it's best just for that clean slate type idea, just to not think about it, be hydrated half an hour before your meal, and then drink up 90 minutes after your meal, okay? Uh, no soda, bubbly drinks, not even the sparkling water for those lion diet people. No, no smart sparkling water, and don't, uh, yeah, don't drink during your meals. Be hydrated, think about it before your meals. Salt intake, yes, you can try with the uh, apple cider vinegar and um, HCL. Um, that's the easiest way, just to avoid your glutens for the people that aren't celiac. And I'm doing a double header uh, this evening. Uh, what celiacs must do. So that is why we are all celiac disease without the approval of the mainstream to indicate that you are suffering from celiac disease. If you got gray hair, got any chronic diseases, wrinkles, um, varicose veins, hemorrhoids, um, indigestion, things like uh, carpal tunnel, um, shoulder, frozen shoulder, um, 
things like atrial fibrillation, um, pick up a lot, uh, bowel diarrhea slash constipation. Um, those sort of things. Uh, and you're gaining weight. Treat yourself as celiac. Do those things as a start. But on top of that, we need to supplement these days because our food supply chain is impaired. For 130 years at least, the whole world has gone uh, away from burning wood to electricity. We unknowingly had more minerals in our farming soils, our, our farming lands, our gardens, because we used to put ashes on our gardens and industrially as well. We used to have ash merchants. And that's how we unknowingly had minerals in the soil. Once that carrot or that lettuce gets picked, if it's not replaced, if the, if the minerals aren't replaced, harvest after harvest, the minerals are being depleted from the soils. If there's no ashes being, being put down and also if there's no seasonal flooding, uh, minerals from the highlands, from um, crushed up rock and whatnot, uh, minerals unknowingly, not all the minerals we need, but uh, a lot of them we were getting from flood flood lands, um, flooding, seasonal flooding. So with the 3 million plus dams that we have around the world, um, a million of those are hydroelectric dams, the other 2 million are irrigation type dams, we've effectively mitigated all seasonal flooding, even re reducing our uh, our minerals getting to the soils even more, even further mineral um, depletion, even further, because uh, if the minerals aren't in the soil, they don't end up in the food and they don't end up into us. And we need 60, we need 60 minerals, not the um, 13 minerals. The last one that was declared essential was iodine in 1950. Before you wait for the next one to be approved, just we need to supplement with those um, minerals. And together with the minerals, we need to uh, fully supplement, which is 90 declared essential micronutrients. And as part of what we should do is my prescription to the world for those one-off uh, listeners, viewers, the Health 44, the regimen I call that we should be doing. Health happens when you do the 44, the first four of the 44, eliminating 90 plus percent of the supermarket, four classes of food, the glutens, oils, sugars, nitrates, nit nitrites. And then bring in those uh, the second four uh, of the uh, health 44, the um, the micronutrients, 90 declared essential micronutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, two essential fatty acids. Then we won't, the whole world won't be celiac, will be well. There won't be obesity, metabolic syndrome, chronic disease, autoimmune, and beyond. I'm not aware of that to mention the C condition. So. I've made my point, I feel we are all pretty much celiac. I've never looked back and uh, you won't look back either if you understand the whole idea that, um, that gluten is damaging to our absorption ability. So there you go. Hopefully until the next time. Bye bye.